Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode here with me Lemon Slice on the Cornerstone SMP. And if you haven't noticed by now already, there is something a lot different going on with the textures here. And yes, I do have a texture pack on along with my shader pack and this combination that I just found is so beautiful. I will leave links to both in the description, but I just wanted to check out some of these places around here with the texture pack on because it makes some of this project look amazing and if you weren't here last episode this is our project we completed the medieval church with some houses some waterfalls and stuff and i think this texture pack makes the trees look real like super super beautiful the crop field has fully grown guys you'll be happy to know and i have plans to continue working here look at these little trees they really do look like little trees and this little stepping stone path I love this little area we've constructed here, but it is an empty shell. So don't worry, we're gonna fix this, guys. This is all we have, but I have plans for the inside of this church to make it look absolutely beautiful and some plans possibly out here, possibly turning this into some sort of graveyard next to the church. And I'm not sure if anyone's planning to use this. This sign is apparently an old sign. I already talked to uh, Will about this. so. We're good to use this area if we need to, but I also want to leave some space in case people join the competition yet. Then again, we do have plenty of space up here and I probably shouldn't go this way because there is spoilers and I don't know what has been shown and what hasn't, but it looks like there's going to be a pretty big project up there for uh, Jack of all trades. So a little nervous about that. That could, um, it looks like it could end up being a castle. So castle on the mountaintop could take us down, but guys, Let's get into the episode. It's going to be kind of a chill episode, just hanging out, doing a little bit of building, and don't worry, this texture pack is not staying on the whole time. But let's get inside, and let's try and figure out what we're going to do. So on the inside, the first thing I want to tackle is kind of cleaning this place up a little bit. And the way we can do that is possibly with some pillars like this sticking out, something like this, and then we can have more of a detailed roof. I'm not sure what we want to go for up there, but it is kind of just a mess in here. And that's always the first step when doing an interior, just kind of cleaning it up, adding some pillars and whatnot to this should help a decent amount. So let me put those in and try and clean this place up a little bit. Ah, and we already had an accident. I'm trying to light this place up as we go. And a creeper just walks in behind me and blows up the entire thing. We're going to have to... Oh, this is a mess. This is the worst. Creepers are the absolute worst thing in the game. Now I have to go figure out what was where and... Oh, gosh. It's happening again. It's happening again. He He's back. I don't know how this happens. It looks fairly lit in there, but it's not apparently. I need to look out. Okay, he must have fallen from up there. That is, that is a serious hazard. We need to fix that immediately, actually. Okay, this is what we have so far. I'm going to strip the oaks, the logs on the floor, make it look a little better. And then I think the goal is to... Oh, we really just got stuck down here. Um... The goal now is going to be finish the floor and then do something about the roof area here. It just looks it just looks bad. It's not good. All the white showing. We need to get rid of this white showing, cover it up with stone, get some pillars going up it, and uh, maybe choose a different color. I don't know. Maybe we'll stick with the with the nether brick. I kind of like it. But yeah, the floor and these pillars are all done. The creeper explosion is cleaned up, and I'm going to be constructing this and praying that we don't have another one. All right, and another progress update. Let's check it out. Let's see what we got going on. I got some pillars heading up towards the top and I've already done this side. I think I'm gonna change out a little bit of this for wood. I'm constantly turning around and looking for creepers though. I really don't want that to happen again, but yeah, we're just kind of making our way along with this slowly. I can't wait to add some benches in and stuff. And um, yeah, I hopefully we can get to work down here on the graveyard or something. But our main focus today is the interior of this church. The graveyard might have to wait if we even do it. I want to make sure we leave space for other people, like I already said. But let's continue this. Let's finish the roof area. I think the next time that I will give you an update, we will be done with this roof. And we did it. Hopefully this looks okay. I'm not sure what to do about the big window, but I'm a fan of the way this is coming out so far. And oh, I could grab that. We also have some lighting issues up here still. Not sure how we're going to fix that. But I know one way we're going to fix it. We're going to add two slightly large chandeliers hanging down on these two centerpieces right here on these two blocks. So not sure how we're going to do it yet, but let's get two chandeliers going. 
All right, folks, and I know this has been kind of a chill episode. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it, just hanging out. It's taking me longer than it is uh, for you, obviously. Um, hopefully this is not too weird of an episode, but I just wanted to hang out and kind of enjoy ourselves here. But here we go. Some chandeliers, and I'm trying to decide if I should just cut off one of the doors or have both doors still. I'm not sure what to do. But these chandeliers are pretty interesting, and hopefully it's enough light up there so that nothing spawns. Plus we have stairs mostly around the edges, so... The spawn proofing should be okay. Now, I want to do a few things here. Um, just some stuff. Decoration on this ground level around the windowsills. Because we have a little bit of space here that needs to be addressed. And I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. I know in front of the windows, which there's... Jeez, there's only these two. Um, I guess right here we're going to have to put something different. One of these, maybe. Um, yeah, I just want to make sure this looks nice and fancy nice and decorated and i want to make sure it's over detailed in here because that kind of feels like something that would go with the french vibe of of things in here so let's just get a little bit of decoration going on we'll put some lanterns some potted plants some bigger plants maybe even um i don't know i think we're just going to play around have some fun i don't do interiors that often so i kind of want to just enjoy myself here and do some fun stuff we'll add in some benches as well and right now, I just want to go ahead and get hmm, maybe some potted plants, maybe some lanterns. I think maybe in these corners. Oh, we only have three lanterns. Okay, so we have to choose wisely. Let's do one lantern. You're going to go. No. Okay, I think we have to do one here and here. And then just one more somewhere. Oh, that's annoying. Just one lantern somewhere. Uh... Oh gosh, you know what? Let's just forget about it and then we won't ever have to figure it out. Okay, so I want to put down some potted plants. So I need to go get pots, which I don't think I have any. And I also don't think I have any flowers. All right, we see the sun going down. We're going to have to sleep in a second, but let's pop down some potted plants. Let's do some Lily of the Valleys in here, some nice decorative ones. And this could be cleaned up just a little bit probably. And then in here, let's go ahead and put down, um, why are we missing a stair? Why did I do that? Put down another one right there that's probably one of my favorite flowers and then let's do a couple more just around here we'll do um some corn flowers right here and let's just get a couple more one here and one here tell me i have enough flowers i do not let's go dive off the mountain somewhere here we go here's one we just need one more flower if we can find one let's go straight down into hicks's incredibly complex base system that he's got going on if you guys haven't seen that i would suggest go checking that out that is a lot of huge projects he's got going on a lot of work and impressive scale going on let's head back up here let's do oh see there's a creeper right there i saw oh oh my gosh there's three of them there's four of them okay we're gonna have to go around the front and sleep this is too dangerous okay we need to do an assault here we need to do it we need to oh gosh oh gosh i got stuck Oh, this is when I wish I had my bow. Okay, one. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Let's go back. Chill out now. Let's go in here. Scope it out. All right, nothing. We're good, we're good. Okay. Do one there, and then let's get the red one and put it in right there. Okay, beautiful. Next, I want to add in some fancy little braziers. You know what we're going to do? Actually, we are going to close off this end. It's just not... We don't need this back exit for anything at the moment. So I think we're just gonna close it up like that and just add trap doors all the way out around it. Um, and then this is gonna be our little place that the, the lectern and stuff will go on. And this will be like the, the kind of main entrance right here. So let's go ahead and get some fancy stuff going on here. I wanna do something possibly right here with a wall and some trap doors. Okay, so this is the entrance. This is the, the side entrance where it will be facing this way and we will have the um, stand kind of um, right over here. Where do we want the benches? I'm assuming we want them this way, probably one or two, probably like two long along this thing, something like this on both sides. I think that's how we want to do it. Now, that this kind of messes things up a little bit. If we could just, oh, okay, I went a little, a little too hard on that. If we could just flip this around possibly like that might make it look a little bit more um, acceptable it just doesn't look right if we have it that way okay so we'll have that with plenty of space to walk through and again like this 
and then we'll have to leave a gap here because we don't want to block the entrance but i guess yeah we are going to have to block the entrance that's okay it doesn't look too bad i thought it would look a lot worse and then we'll have the stand right here um and we're going to figure out how we're going to build that and then i want to do something possibly do i have any spruce left this is my temporary storage area right here and i definitely don't have any spruce do i you can see my supplies are dwindling actually here let's use this spruce as the benches and then i really want to do something like this on the sides if we could get no we're gonna need more than that um that's probably plenty right there um let's get all this back oh my inventory is a mess where did i pick up a saddle uh, see i'm getting random stuff out of nowhere Let's get rid of these benches real quick and replace them with the spruce real quick so we can see what we want to do here. Um, I believe it was there, right? I think. Yeah, yeah, because that was there. Then we'll have it here and I'll continue these. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab our signs and we're going to put them this side right here without any writing as kind of the armrest. And I'm sure you've seen this before. This is nothing new. This is not some newly discovered trick but i think it'll help these look very much more detailed and then also what i think i want to do is go around to these pieces and pop them out and replace that with some chiseled or some uh polished andesite possibly just something to add a little bit extra detail into these walls so let me go do that and just like that this place is basically complete we got the benches in and we got the stand up here you can come around right here and get up on it and we need a book to put here we also need two more flowers and i need to adjust the way this looks that's not correct got that back boom perfect and you see i put in the chisel blocks around here and i think this looks great hopefully it's lit enough i keep saying that and i'm just so scared for something to blow up in here again but let's go grab some more flowers and i think we're possibly going to do the graveyard now you're probably wondering about these houses and the thing is these houses are so small and the interior is basically non-existent these are kind of just a facade for um that yeah so as you can see we're not really going to be doing anything uh with, with these because you know it's not really meant for that it's just kind of a small little thing decoration um but down here we might do the graveyard i'm trying to figure out what to do because i really on one hand i don't want to take up space for people but also there's so much space on this mountain um why would somebody want to go right there um but yeah i think a graveyard could actually be such a great idea i think that's gonna have to wait for next episode but we're gonna continue on this try and finish out these interiors and check out what else is going on in the server because there has been a lot going on and our wonderful shopping district is really coming together now guys we have so many games even here i think hicks was working on this i don't think this is a spoiler but um we're, we're not gonna stay around too long just in case it is but this i know is not this is an airship right here and this thing is absolutely beautiful and this build was done by elementalist and they have made some very great stuff here on the server and i really like this build and i don't think anything's in here i think the stock is really in here and this is a dried kelp store right here and this is interesting i like dried kelp a lot that's going to be some fuel source how much is it one diamond for one stack what a deal that is super good and i just want to show this because i think that's a great little shop there and good old jack's shack now i've been looking at this and trying to figure out what the heck is going on still have no idea but guys as you can see in the bookstore here with alex we have two barrels one for mending and another one for mending this is our mending barrel right here and this is his and see he's been he's been making diamonds and we haven't not a big deal i um it's my fault i haven't stocked it up so i need to go back to my place right now actually and do that that's reserved but i also guys wanted to mention i really want to build another shop here sometime soon i want to get creative with the building have fun building here i've done a lot of big projects here and i've enjoyed this area so much so hopefully i can do another shop sometime soon the only problem is i don't have any ideas so if you guys have shop ideas for me please leave them in the comments and with only a few minutes of trading later we have a box of mending and we're going to toss it all in here to be sold because i really want to make sure we get our profits still from this mending shop and this is a good way to save space in the shopping district and make sure we still get our selling going on so there we go perfect mending all stocked up and um i'm excited this is good this is progress and up here guys this is the real progress 
we have made the interior i am spoiling everything aren't i i i don't know what has been shown i am just i'm making a mess here guys I, i'm sorry i gotta just look down let's just get inside quickly boom close that up all right this is the church the interior i'm so happy with the way this came out and i'm excited for next episode to continue our building if we don't put the graveyard down where i said we would we might create a um, lower platform right here basically to put the graveyard on i'm not sure what i'm going to do yet because that is a prime spot for somebody to build on or even if nobody does maybe i will one day build something like a huge tower right there that could match our build right here who knows but um i definitely think i kind of want to leave that open if possible um but we'll do our absolute best but thank you guys so much for watching today and i know it's time to go again it's so sad and i'm sorry but thank you for watching and subscribe if you're not already and leave a like on the video it just takes half a second lets me know that you guys do enjoy these episodes and if you made it all the way to the end make sure to comment it below so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next episode